Hey there! Automation Empire is a game released by Dog Hogler, and the goal of this game is to build a system to harvest and ship resources off the planet. You get paid for each shipment you send, and you use the money to build bigger and better systems. But what's the best way to get started? What should you build first? My name is Hive Tyrant 424 I beat a planet by shipping 45,000 kilograms within a three-month period in only 11 game years. You want to see how I did it? Stick around! This is my starter. I take the starter base the game offers. I mean, it gives me everything I'd have to build myself if I didn't, so why wouldn't I? As the game, as soon as the game loads, I use my remaining money to build and connect a mining rig to another resource patch, and then I get a research facility. I'll connect it right to the rig there, and then get some power going to it. And I'll just start let that chewing chewing on raw coal. That's the first resource that you're going to need to use to get your research points up. So while I'm building up my research points, I've added a few unload stations to the starter to let the drone have more crates of coal to work with. That'll help get that truck loaded faster. Now I'm at a, I've added a small container to the rig here and I'm going to cart coal in from the next rig to my crate maker and double the output of crates for that little drone. You'll notice the container has to be connected to the rig using a transfer tube and it has to be connected in only one direction with that transfer tube. But don't let that fool you. They have a one-way arrow on them, but when you put a collector tube on the other side of that container, as I've done there, the collector will take the coal out of any mine cart that passes underneath it, and then the crate maker will pull that out, even though it's a one-way tube. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but it will take that coal out and crate it for the drones to load onto the trucks. Those ends do matter when you're connecting to machinery, but uh, not when you're connecting um, containers. So I've got a, I'm going to set up this second rig here. I'll have to cannibalize a couple of these uh, unload stations in order to get the other rig going, but I want to double the amount of coal that's going in there because that crate maker is able to crate up all the coal that's coming from the other rig, so I want to give it more. There we go. And that mining cart will just run back and forth, take all the coal that comes out of that second rig, and put it right into the crate maker. Just like that. So now I'll put those, as soon as that truck gets through the thing there, I'll put those two unload stations back on there that I took off and the drone just said thank you I don't know if you heard him say that but I heard it yeah I think he might be getting a little lonely should I give him a friend give him a co-worker mm, yeah yeah I think he could use a friend now I've got six unload stations coming out of that crate maker, and as you can see, all six have a crate on them. So I put another drone out, and what will happen is every time a truck parks in that pit stop, those two drones will grab enough containers to load that truck up right away, just like this. And off it goes. Easy peasy. So, now I've unlocked the refiner, which would let me build a factory and put refiners to work. I didn't do that just yet. Uh, I'm just going to kill a bit more time and bank another 45,000 research points so that I can unlock the step conveyors as well. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm just going to expand my road and put another couple of pit stops on there. And that'll double the number of trucks that I have. I did add another pit stop to, the other, to that road there, as you see. So, we got that going, and there's the research points I needed. I still had a few left over, so I'm ready to go. Get the conveyors unlocked, step conveyors. And now I'm going to be able to build my first refinery, but because I built that road, I have to wait a little bit, pass some time, and earn some money. And there we go. And access to bring the, the coal in. So what I'm going to do, what I did here is I just I laid out the whole refinery. There's a lot of placing and deleting, placing and deleting. So rather than show you that, I'm just going to show you the finished refinery with the exception of the refiners. There we go. So 
I have the step conveyors, which will be able to load up. I've got space for four refineries, for refiners. And what will happen is I've got, I'll have two crate makers in there. The two crate makers that are currently out on the side of the road there, I'm going to bring them in, and they're going to make empty crates and drop them on the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt's then going to carry those crates underneath an output that's connected to that container, as you see. And that will fill every empty container that goes underneath it. Then they'll go around the corner to the transfer clause. And the first transfer claw is set to skip three crates. The second one is set to skip two. The third one skips one. And then the last one will grab any crates that are there. That's a good idea when you're doing any major rebuilding or any major changes to your system to pause the game. Because it can take a while and you don't want to burn valuable time and have to pay the power bill for machines that aren't producing anything so there's my crate makers i think we're about ready to go here yep looking good there we get to get things going here and there's our first two empty crates gets filled with coal ore right from that output guy there goes around the corner and skips the first two transfer claw oh oh no i forgot my other two refineries oops and i need a transfer claw to switch from that refiner track there so the the transfer claws will move the refined coal onto those unload stations i've set the unload stations to high priority for the drones so as soon as We've got trucks parked in the pit stop, and those crates of coal reach the end. Now, all of a sudden, my workforce is racing to get over to that coal. Look at that. Having a little bit of distance between where they have to pick up the crates and where they have to drop them off also makes their, their work a little bit smoother. They don't run into each other quite as often. It's nice. So that's it. That's my first refinery. Next episode, I'm going to show you some tips for moving resources around the map and getting your next game-changing technology unlocked, the claw trains. Those are very, very helpful. And eventually, you get to the directional locks as well as the truck-loading claw stations, which really speed up your load times and make you much more productive. If you found this episode helpful, please don't forget to click the like button down below and support my channel. And if you want to be notified of new videos, please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. Thanks for, so much for watching.